Here it is November and it's still warm. But that's an affair of the outside. You want to make sure that your behavior doesn't have to depend on the outside. It depends on your own sense of what the Buddha taught, your own sense of what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful and unskillful. You learn from your actions. But you don't want to let other people's actions determine whether you're going to be skillful or not. This is really important, that you've got to learn how to find a source of strength inside that you can depend on regardless of what other people are doing. As the Buddha said, we live in peace among a world that's not peaceful. It's to be expected that the world is not peaceful, but you can't wait for them to be peaceful before you're going to have some peace. You have to find a sense of peace inside. We live among a lot of people who are unprincipled. They're all over the world. But that doesn't mean that we have to wait till they become principled people before we do. We have to start right here. So this is one of the reasons why we put so much effort into training the mind, because that's where the right here is. That's where the strengths you have right here are. You have a certain amount of strength in the body. But when that gets hungry, you can't really depend on the body to do the right thing. That's when the mind needs strength to come in and compensate for the weakness and the hunger in the body. So we give the mind a sense of fullness as we meditate right here. Breath coming in, breath going out. Let it be as full and comfortable as you can, and try not to squeeze it out of shape. Allow it to have its space so that it can grow naturally. That way, at the very least, you've got a good place inside from which you can act. You're not being driven by greed or aversion and delusion. And you don't let them hijack your body, you don't let them hijack your mind. When they arise, you see them and you let them go. Because you've got something better right here. Always keep that in mind. Think of that image the Buddha had as goodwill as large as the earth, goodwill as large as space. People can try to paint pictures on space, but they can't paint it because there's nothing there to hold it, the pictures. They can try to get rid of the earth by digging and spitting and urinating, but it doesn't work. The earth is going to be much bigger. In the same way you look at other people's strange behavior, stupid behavior, cruel behavior, and you do what you can to stop it, but you realize that it's only so much you can do. And at the same time, you don't want to let their unskillful behavior to become an excuse for your unskillful behavior. You've got something much bigger and better inside right here. Don't let it get wasted away.